Welcome to another video from ExplainingComputers.com. This time I'm going to explore the latest corporate craze of digital transformation. This refers to the next big wave of consumer and business change that's driven by computing and related digital technologies. According to market analyst Gartner, already about 42% of companies have some kind of digital transformation plan. Meanwhile, according to IDC, International Data Corporation, by 2020, $2 trillion a year will be being spent on digital transformation. It's therefore fairly obvious that something really big is going on, and so in this video we're going to discover what it's all about. Digital transformation may be defined as the use of computing and other digital technologies to create interconnection and smartness and to deliver new manufacturing systems and working methods. This said, the best way to actually understand digital transformation is to focus on those technologies and related developments that will actually make it happen. These are illustrated in this diagram, which highlights 12 short and medium term digital transformation drivers, together with four others that will impact our lives in the longer term. Working briefly across the diagram, cloud computing is where computer processing power, storage and applications are accessed over the internet, with key providers including Amazon, Google, Microsoft and IBM. Big data then refers to generating value from very large datasets that cannot be analysed with traditional computing techniques, and as I discussed in my Explaining Big Data video. Thirdly, blockchain is the technology behind cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, and works by recording electronic transactions in a widely distributed and hence tamper-proof public ledger. Moving on, virtual reality allows human users to experience 3D graphics worlds built within computers, while augmented reality overlays digital content on our vision of the real world. The Internet of Things, or IoT, is then when an increasing number of objects are given online connectivity so that they can generate data or be digitally controlled. IoT developments already include the creation of smart homes and smart factories, with Cisco predicting more than 50 billion online devices by 2020. Artificial intelligence refers to computer technology with a cognitive capacity. In the second half of the 2020s, this will permit the rollout of fully autonomous vehicles, as well as robots that will leave the factory to labour in semi-structured and unstructured environments from warehouses to homes. Robots and AI are also facilitating the development of dark factories in which the lights can be turned out as no humans are involved in the manufacturing process. China in particular is working to advance dark factory systems in order to remain competitive in the face of rising labour costs. Finally in the short and medium term, 3D printing and synthetic biology are manufacturing technologies that turn digital information into physical things. Specifically, 3D printing digitally materialises objects by building them up in layers, and can already manufacture final parts in plastics, metals and ceramics. Even more radically, synthetic biology takes an engineering approach to biology, with DNA broken down into a set of modular parts that can be rearranged in a computer and chemically pieced together. Already, the first DNA printer is on the market, with companies such as Amaris now employing synthetic biology to biomanufacture new fuels, lubricants, medications and cosmetics. Looking to the 2030s, molecular self-assembly is a nanoscale fabrication process that turns digital designs into physical items without the assistance of production tools. While this may sound like magic, the very first digital molecule making machine is already in the lab, and you can learn more in my video, Nanotechnology 2.0. Equally amazing is quantum computing, as I recently discussed on this channel. Here, computation takes place using qubits rather than bits, which in the coming decades may result in supercomputers far more powerful than those we have today. In time, we may also develop organic computing technologies that store information in DNA and which function in a similar fashion to the human brain. Finally, and talking of the human brain, in the 2030s cybernetic interfaces may link human wetware directly with artificial computer systems. This again may sound like science fiction, 
but the first braid interfaces have been created, with pioneers including Elon Musk now planning to turn them into tomorrow's digital reality. As we've just seen, a great many technologies and related developments are driving digital transformation. However, on a more holistic level, just two key themes are in play. The first of these is the rise of AI, which is the key driver behind autonomous vehicles and robots and dark factories, and also big data analytics. AI is also becoming a key cloud computing offering and also an important driver of augmented reality. The advancement of the brave new sciences of synthetic biology and molecular self-assembly will also require the application of beyond human cognitive capabilities, while quantum computing and organic computing may provide a hardware platform on which future AIs will run. It is hence absolutely clear why AI is set to become a cornerstone of computing development in the 2020s and beyond. The other key trend we can identify is the rising impact of digital technologies on the physical world. Here, clearly the Internet of Things is hardware focused, with autonomous vehicles, robots and dark factories all involving digital transformation in the physical world. 3D printing, synthetic biology and molecular self-assembly are also all digitally enabled physical manufacturing processes, while augmented reality and cybernetic interfaces both involve linking the real and virtual domains. Over the past 20 years, we've just got used to almost all key digital developments manifesting themselves online, on the World Wide Web, on apps, on our phones. And yet I'm absolutely convinced that in the next 20 years, most of the key digital developments will impact us physically in the real world. If you want to know more about digital transformation, you can look at my new book, Digital Genesis, The Future of Computing, Robots and AI. But now that's it for another video. If you're enjoying what you've seen here, please press that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I hope to talk to you again very soon.